All right, guys, we're talking the EcoFlow Wave 2. Fantastic AC. If you guys have seen my other videos, you guys have seen I've lugged around a big, heavy, portable AC unit. It's 14,000 BTU, but it is very heavy, very bulky, and it's not the most comfortable thing to lug around. So it's not the most heavy duty AC in the world, right? This is a 5,100 BTU AC, 6,100 BTU heater. So it's fantastic for a small tent like this one here behind me. Now, if you guys haven't seen the vi previous video I did, this is the Gazelle T3X Hub Tent Overline Edition. Make sure to like, check out my other video if you guys want to see a little bit more about this tent and all the great, fantastic features, which I just highly recommend on this tent but let's talk about the ac all right so we're, we got the ac set up in the last spot we had it were for the previous video we're leaving the same exact spot exhausting the heat outside of the tent and circulating the, the fresh air from the inside so we're not going to put the extra tube which comes with additional tube which can use one tube only and i got this thermostat here which shows you the temperature outside so it shows you the temperature on the inside so as you can currently see it's showing that it feels like it's 118 degrees outside which is whopping heat 94 degrees where we're currently standing at, which is where the thermostat is reading. So it's very, very hot. So this thermostat out here is reading the temperature on the outside. It's about 10 feet from us, showing you what the temperature is out here. And then I'm gonna show you the temperature on the inside. We're waiting for the battery. We did order the battery and that hasn't come in yet. So we're gonna be doing a test on that one very soon. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. Right now we're just currently hooked up to the grid and we're hooked up to, eight, to the electrical power. And we're gonna run that with that current setup. Now, a lot of times when you go to these campsites, they will have these electrical outlets where you can plug up an AC to it, especially one like this, and it'll run it with no problem. If you're off grid, that's what the battery's gonna be for, and that's what we're gonna be testing next. But let's run it like this and see what that works like. All right, so as you guys can see, I have the AC unit sitting right here with the exhaust pipe coming out this way out of the tent, and the drainage pipe for any excess water to come out of the unit because we live in a very humid area and this needs to ex exhaust all that extra water. Now, if you live in a place where 70% or below humidity, you don't need to release that extra water because it would actually recirculate within the unit and it does it itself. You don't need to drain any water. But where we live, you do need that. All right, so it's pretty tight in here, so we're gonna record and do the best we can. First thing, let's start off by closing all the windows and doors and get this thing just completely sealed and we'll go from there. All right guys, so today we're testing out the EcoFlow Wave 2. As you guys can see here, this is the unit set up next to me. We're inside the Gazelle T3X Overland Edition tent. Um, as you guys saw from the, the footage, we're sitting under a shaded area, but it is 94 degrees outside right now. Well, currently 94 where we're located, it's about 109 degrees outside. So it is very, very hot. Um, I had it set up about 3.10 in the afternoon, and so we can see how fast this thing is gonna cool down and how fast we're gonna actually be in a comfortable a tent where you can actually sleep in or stay in for a little bit of time. I can tell you that I'm sitting in this thing and I'm already feeling a lot, a lot cooler. It's feeling fantastic in here. And that's helped out a lot by these thick walls on the tent. It's showing that's 108 degrees on the outside. It's showing that it's 90 degrees inside here. So that's already five degrees lower and if we've only been here for about five minutes. So this is working fantastic. I have the water drained down to the outside. I have the exhaust pipe heading outside. And when you put your hand here, you can feel all that heat hitting out. I'm gonna go ahead and give it about 15 minutes or so. And I'm gonna check back in with you guys to see what the temperature's like in the inside. Right now, it's 102 degrees outside and it's showing it's about 87 degrees currently inside of here. So from 95, about 96 when we started in here to about 87 degrees right now, um, that's quite a drop. And it's like I said, it's removed a lot of humidity in here too. So that makes it a lot more comfortable. And yeah, let's just give it a couple hours. We'll come back later on today. And I'm really curious to see as a nighttime what it really does. So show you guys a little bit. And now we're talking some pretty good numbers here. I left and came back about uh, 30 minutes. So now in total, we've probably been here for about an hour, an hour and 10 minutes testing out. Uh, you guys saw the temperature earlier when I left. And now, yes, the temperature has dropped outside, so it's not as hot as it was, but it is still hot. But now the temperature in here is very, very nice. Um, it's reading a little bit higher than what it feels like. I, it feels, you know, a lot cooler than that, but regardless. So now it's showing that it's 95 degrees outside and it's 83 degrees inside of here. Uh, you guys can see the heat index outside shows 106.7. So 95, but it feels like 106 outside and it's 83 degrees in here. Uh, and now let's check out the thermostat on the EcoFlow is showing 85, this is showing 83, uh, give or take, right? But it's feeling really, really nice in here right now. Uh, obviously the temperature has dropped on the outside, so it's a little bit cooler. Which if you call out 95, feeling like 106 cool, then sure. But as you guys can see so far, it is holding up really, really good in here. The more time you guys give this AC to just cool down the space, better it's going to work the less you open the door and go in and out you know the better it's going to hold in the the, the the coldness in here or the heat whatever you're trying to do um, but this is a fantastic system so far guys i'm very very impressed with it like i said it's not going to hold up against like a 14,000 btu hc or anything of that nature but something small like this, a small tent maybe a small cargo van uh small trailer something like it will probably more than enough to, to get that thing cool 
um, and have you at least sleep very nice in the, at night time. I'm honestly very, very impressed with the system so far. I'm impressed with its capacity what it can do, how it can do it, how quickly it can do it. It removes a lot of the humidity out of the tent as well, which was makes it feel so nice in here. Uh, because if you don't have this AC running, the humidity is just what kind of, you know, just takes over and just, it's, it's, it's whopping, right? As you guys can see, that's what takes it from a 95 to feeling like 107. That humidity is just terrible over here. Um, but if you can have that, you know, at an 83 in here, even if it's 83 at nighttime, I mean, the way I feel right now, at least in here, I can sleep no problem. Um, normally I don't sleep at that temperature, but I'm telling you just, I don't know, it feels very cool in here. So we're going to keep letting this run for a couple more hours. We're going to keep checking in, see how it goes. As nighttime falls, it's going to get very cold in here and it's going to be very, very nice. So far, it seems to be working well as far as the water drainage. So if you guys live out in high humidity areas like we do, the water seems to be draining perfectly fine. It hasn't overflowed or had a drainage issue uh, where some of my other ACs have had in the past where, you know, just too much water accumulates and it won't and then overflows and shuts out the AC. Have not had that issue so far. It seems to be working perfectly fine with no problems at all. So we're going to check in a couple hours again and see what how it's doing and uh, we'll catch you guys in a little bit. Unfortunately, we're going to cut this test a little short. We're going to take everything on into the garage. It's about to pour. So let's get inside and continue this video. All right, so in conclusion, this AC for me is just a game winner as far as a small portable form package you can take anywhere with you and you don't have to lug around such a heavy AC. So I do like that a lot about it. Now it's not the strongest AC out there, so it's not gonna be able to compete with the big portable units like the 14,000 BTU unit that I have. Now on their website, it says that you can go up or down 18 degrees, meaning it can increase the heat 18 degrees or it can cool it down 18 degrees. So that's their claims on their website. And from what I see on my test, it seems like it actually hold up to that, especially in the humidity that we have here, how it easily could cool it down in that extreme heat. On their website, it says that it can last with, for up to eight hours with their battery. I haven't got the battery yet, so we'll be testing that soon to make sure to stay tuned in for that one. Now, in regards to the noise, a lot of you guys maybe don't like these very noisy AC units, and this one is very quiet. According to the website, it's a 44 decibel. So that means it is super, super efficient, very quiet, doesn't make a lot of noise, especially like a lot of the AC units on our RV makes. So the RV just sounds like it's a tornado in there. This one is very quiet in comparison. It has multiple ways to be able to power up this unit. You can power it up from the electrical grid, you can power it up through a battery, you can power it up through solar, or you can just use one of their other EcoFlow units to power up the, this unit. I mean, it's just very good as far as how many options and how many abilities you have to be able to power this unit when you need it. I like the fact that you can also control this unit from their app. So if you want to use the app for EcoFlow, you can see everything about this AC. You can turn it on, turn it off. You can control everything even without being there at the, maybe at the campsite. So that's a super cool feature about it that a lot of other units do not have. I don't want to bore you with all the details. You can go online. You can check their website out. You can see every little detail you want about it and all the specs. I just want to tell you the real world scenario of what I use and what I found to be useful in, the, in this unit. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and found it very informative. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me in the comments. Otherwise, please make sure to like, subscribe, turn on your post notifications. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, guys.